Okay, so I have um, completed step three, which was cutting these engine mounts off of the uh, the backpack, and proceeded on to step four. So um, that was basically cutting that in half, uh, gluing the other back to it. Um, and so then step four is um, this is actually looking pretty cool. Um, I like it. I might actually use. Oh, I just dropped it. I might actually use it in um, some other conversions that I may do. Um, ah, let's find that now. Here it is. Cool. Okay. So, step four is, um, this is kind of like a tutorial. This is interesting. Okay. But, um, step four is getting a shield drone writer and, um, putting it in right there. And so, I'm going to have to cut this as, at a diagonal. Um, which I'm just going to follow the contour of that line and just chop it off. Um, and then I'm just going to put it on there and I think it just dries on like that, glues on or something. Um, I'm also looking at the, um, the downloadable part of the, uh, the thing, the instructions, so I actually get a clearer shot of what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, so that's what I've been doing. Uh, I cut these engine mounts with my razor saw. I love the thing. Um, one word of caution is don't get your fingers in the way because it will cut through your bone uh, and it would hurt. Um, and then I have been going against the um, the overall overall rule of cut away from yourself instead of into yourself. Um, I'm careful. I'm a boy scout. I have my whittling chip or whatever it's called. I know that you know, to cut away from yourself, but I also have a setting up hand where I can cut towards myself. Um but if I get cut, I really don't care. It it won't hurt me. Not that much unless I like lop off my finger and that might be bad. Um but I'm gonna proceed on with this. Um fill some up fill some of those gaps up with green stuff. Um, and I'll update you later. Okay, so, um, I am on step five now. Um, I have just cut, uh, the diagonal for that, and the shield generator actually fits perfectly in there. See, look at that. Nice. Very nice. Okay. So, the next step is getting, um, get this. Okay, I have, to, uh, you have to read this. Okay. You can read that. It says that I need to get um, a piece of sprue from the backpacks and put it onto the uh, the torso. So, should read that. Yes, I'm actually using a piece of the sprue. This is an epic conversion. And so, not knowing that I would have to do this before, uh, well, I did, uh, but not before I actually found this conversion. I have saved all my sprues that I've used for the past, I have no idea how long. And I don't know if I actually have a sprue to do or to use for this. Because I once had a sprue like that, that looked like the one in the picture. Um, from the old marines, uh, sprue marine things. Um, I know it's really dark, but yeah. I save these things. Why? I have no idea. I use them for train sometimes. Oh, wait, hold on. And, oh, this isn't it. Um, see? These things. Okay, this used to have a backpack, a bolter, and two arms. Yeah, really old sprue. So, that thickness should be okay. Um, but I used to have a sprue that looks like one of the pictures. I don't know if I still have it. I think I used it for something. Um, but I just had to show you that because that was just crazy. You get to use a screw and different versions. Yeah, I know you have to use it for the shoulder pads, but um, if you're doing conversion and you actually use a piece of the screw that the model came from or the bits came from, that that's pretty epic. So that's where I'm at right now for this thing. Um, and I'll update you guys later when I'm done with this. Okay, so, um, I, uh, completed step, what was it, five? <coughs> um, you can kind of tell 
but um, I actually used a different sprue. Um, I think it was from the tank sprue or something like that. But um, I did. Uh, this is actually extended. Um, it is the same color as the uh, crisis sprue or crisis uh, torso. So that's pretty cool. Um, there you go. That's, so now you can see like the little um, seam of where it was, uh, and then where I filed it down and stuff. Um, I sanded it down, so now it's all nice and smooth, and I used some uh, some green stuff. So now it's all one piece, nice and smooth. Um, so now the next part is actually making um, his uh, jetpack, or the engines as they say. Um, and this has to do with the, cr uh, not crisis suit, but the, um, the, um, cell suit, uh, parts, and my little extra idea that I had, um, uh, when I started this. So, um, I'll do that, and I'll give you another update when I'm done. Okay, so, um, this was step six, I believe, six or seven. Um, uh, this was step seven. Okay, um, so... I glue these two uh, cell suits together, or all three of them actually. Um, I cut off their backpacks, and so here they are. And then I had to cut off the engine uh, engine parts, um, and I actually nearly chopped off my finger trying to do this. Um, but those gone there, and I'm taking these off. I'm actually going to save these because they can be useful for something. And uh, step eight and nine, I'm going to skip because that involves um, cutting up uh, two fusion blasters for the vents and I'm not using fusion blasters for these um, do I have that bit in my oh yes I do I'll be using these these vents right there, those two vents because they actually fit right where I need them to on the back of uh, the jetpack and I think that those vents look really cool so, um, I'll put these on, and I'll get back to you later. Hey, uh, what's up? Um, let's see here. Um, this part. I cut down the little notch thing right there. This is step 11 now. Um, and I had to file that down, um, because there's like a lip. And so now that's all sanded down. Um, for these, uh, this is what the vent looks like. Uh, the green stuff, the low node, and then, or the screws they call it, and then, uh, that's the other little screw part that's chopped off. So this actually has to glue onto here now, like so, or like so, back here or something like that. Um, but this is what the event would look, uh, looks like compared to, um, it's, uh, I'm watching Braveheart now. Uh, let's see here. Compared to, here it is. Um, compared to uh, too far. Too, uh, no. Yeah. Okay, that works. Go down. Go down. Where'd it go? Compared to that. So there's there you go. That style, which is what they made it, or there's my style. See? Converting even the converted. Ha ha ha. So, I think that looks really cool. I like it better. Um, the re... That smoother. Um, so now, I just have to glue those to there. And then, I think we start making the shoulders. Yeah, start making the armor pieces. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, I'm actually getting pretty far on this. Pretty happy. Um, I'll update you later.